Hello, for and welcome back to another Inside Maxis, our regular live stream series where we connect with you and talk The Sims 4. I'm Sim Guru Bat, and I am a concept artist for The Sims 4. And you guys have probably seen me before, but uh, we're introducing. I'm Sim Guru Duck, and I'm a producer on The Sims 4. And we're your hosts for today. Happy, Happy Pride, everyone! Happy Pride! Happy Pride! Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Woo. Well, <laughs> I love your flex so much. Uh, how has your pride been, Sim Guru Duck? It's been really great. Um, I'm, I'm loving all of the celebrations going on now. It's it's great to see um, people starting to uh, get back out there with uh, with safety precautions, of course. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's really great. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been kind of hot lately. Yeah, it's been it? it's, really hot. <laughs> it's been a bit of a hot pride, and you know. <laughs> I, I, I do appreciate it, but also I kind of wish the sun would calm down a bit, just a little bit. But. Yeah, same. I really hope that everybody in the West Coast that's watching us today, like we're we're out in the West, but everybody in the Northwest specifically is keeping cool out there and staying safe in this heat. Stay hydrated, guys. Uh <laughs> Water is important. So before we get started today, let's take a quick look at our agenda. Um, so first up is the introduction. This is it. We're doing it. This is the introduction. <laughs> Hello again. Um, so we're going to do a pride celebration if you hadn't heard this month the u.s is celebrating pride and so are we so we're going to start by showing you some beautiful themed artwork pride themed artwork created by three very talented lgbtq plus uh community uh, of the sims and then we'll have a creator chat with some of our uh, special guests to talk about the importance of the community and how they're empowering others to be their true selves and um what would be a celebration without surprise and delight moments? Yes, I love surprises, Sim Guru Bat. I love them. I love surprises. And then yes. what else? After our surprise and delight, we are going to do our Sims 411, where we'll talk, take a look at some hot topics, and we'll take a sneak peek hot. at the next patch. <laughs> yep. And then we'll be winding up today with a quick chat about the Sim sessions. That is live today. So we'll give you a quick reminder at the end of the stream of why you shouldn't miss jumping into the game today. And Shall speaking we? of jumping in, Shall why don't we, we get right to it? it? Shall yeah. we jump into it? Uh, so as you guys might have heard, it is Pride Month. Can we throw some confusion? Confetti? Can can we get some confetti in here? I don't know, but uh... wait, a, wait, wait a second. Does that what? every time we say that word, does that happen? Confetti? Confetti? I think it. That I think that's what that does. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> well, Pride Month is almost over, but in reality, it, for the Sims and for 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 all of uh, most of us, Pride is from January to December. It's it's all year. It's eternal. Uh, same gender relationships have been as standard as the plum bob in The Sims from day one. And as the LGBTQIA plus community has evolved, we as a team have too. And so is The Sims, and we won't stop the evolution today, that, that is for sure. And while each member of The Sims uh, team, that includes us, and The Sims community, that includes you, has their own wonderful reasons to be a part of the game uh, in each one their own individual way what really connects us all is uh, that we believe in the same thing and that's making the world a better place and seriously like virtual and real it makes a huge difference Yes, it does. And making the world a better place may mean different things to many different people. For example, the world could be a better place with confetti. Confetti and... Confetti anywhere? Kittens, no? I think. <laughs> there we go. And kittens. Confetti and kittens, I think that's confetti great. Confetti and kittens. <laughs> Another thing that honestly makes the world a better place for me is uh, puppies, too. Ooh. And then just spending time with my husband and playing games. I love uh, spending time with my wife and, and yeah. playing with our cats and stuff. Uh, can we get some more confetti in here? I, I... Yeah, just one more time. With some more confetti. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Confetti? Confetti? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but without a doubt, we believe that each person's world is uh, is better when that the world allows you to be your true self. Um, for example, um, one of the things that um, I really enjoy, uh, I was a theater major in college, so I love um, you know playing dress up and you know getting to play with makeup and everything. And uh, you know, in my everyday life, I'm not really confident to do that just on the regular. But one of the things I love about The Sims is that I'm able to do that without you know any fear of judgment uh, whatsoever. And I really do feel uh, at home and like my true self when I'm able to do that. Um, how about you? 
gosh. Uh, like, so this is my uh, first year coming after coming out as non-binary, and and I actually explored that with The Sims first. I was creating a lot of, you know, uh, non-binary Sims until I realized, hey, I think I might actually be this myself. Uh, so it's just another flag to add for me <laughs> to this prize. So uh, <laughs> I have so many, and it's it's been a really wonderful journey. I The Sims has seriously helped me with my own journey, I think. So I think we should celebrate that and stand together this Pride Month. What do you think? We should, and congrats on your journey, and thank you so oh, much for sharing. That's really <laughs> beautiful to hear. But yeah, um, yes, awesome. we should stand together in Pride and and um, mm -hmm. why don't we get this uh, kicked off with talking about some incredible art that we have uh, coming from our celebrations. I love art. Um, yeah. <laughs> so before we get talking about what's actually coming up for uh, for everyone to see here, let's talk about the community. Can we first acknowledge about how incredible um, all of our community is at being artists within the game? Mm -hmm. um, each one of you expresses your creativity and identity and your beautiful souls through many different ways in The Sims. Uh, seriously, every day when I go through my Twitter feed, my, my guru feed, I see amazing artists out there and it is like, it, it seriously blows my mind sometimes seeing like how quick they are on the draw, like getting new art out there. Uh, and it's just like, it's, it's really heartwarming to see. It is really great to see. And just remember, all of you out there, while you may not be an artist in the traditional sense, you are indeed artists in The Sims. You make The Sims. Um, you storytellers out there, you're, you are authors and directors, uh, you builders and architects and design, are, are designers, um, and you cast experts are stylists and fashionistas, and you CC creators and modders are crafters and engineers of the world that you create. Expressing yourself in any of these ways is an art, and each one of you should and can consider yourself an artist. Art empowers, it creates empathy, and it inspires identity. So you seem to pretty much love art overall, right? I know Sim Guru Bat, you love art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an artist. <laughs> of course you do, and you're doing what you love, and we feel you, um, and we know that the community um, does feel this way too. So, we've actually partnered with three incredibly talented artists within the community who created artwork to celebrate Pride with us, and you'll be able to see some of these in game. so let's confetti! start. Confetti! Yes, confetti! Confetti! <laughs> Celebration! And let's take a look at this first piece of art. Oh, I see it. Oh, yes. wow. Isn't this beautiful? So this first piece of art is from Jupiter. Jupiter oh. is a non-binary trans person and a lesbian with they, them, and am pronouns. The piece they drew is an ensemble of LGBTQ plus folks at a pride parade. Jupiter told us that they've always thought something unique about uh, the pride community is that we have so many different colorful pride flags. Mm. Yep, so that's why you can. they used uh, different color palettes of these flags to make this piece really vibrant. Oh, and they tried to mean. represent as much as possible of the queer spectrum of identities. Um, yeah, don't you just love this, Sim Guru This is gorgeous. Look at the colors. Honestly, this is so beautiful. Uh, I could see so many different people with their rocking their rocking their pride flag colors. I see ace, I see trans, I see lesbian, I see pansexual. Oh, this is just so pretty. So many. Everybody under the umbrella here. Um, I love it. And I love that how um, the flags have inspired all the different outfits as well. So, um, yeah. This <laughs> and I love really the confetti great. in the sky. <laughs> yeah, the confetti in the sky. <laughs> as well uh, as the we have in this in game? Yeah, that's a great question. So this piece is actually available starting today. And as you can see right here, this is what it looks like in game. So beautiful. It is really pretty and it's a big piece of art too. So we're looking forward to seeing uh, seeing this in social channels um, where you've included it in your builds. And yeah, you can also find Jupiter on Instagram and Twitter with the username at MidnightFox452. Done, Jupiter. Seriously, this is gorgeous. Well Thank done. you so much for yeah doing this great piece of work with us. All right, now next up um, is an artist named Ashley Lupashevsky, uh, as also known as Ash Luca Draws. Uh, if we want to go over to the next piece of art. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. All right. So Ashley identifies as she and they. 
And this piece is meant to convey the idea that our liberations are interlinked and that we need to look out for each other. Uh, she uses illustration and visual art as a tool to strengthen social movements for racial, immigrant, climate, mental uh, injustice, and uh, mental health and LGBTQIA plus liberation. Ashley thinks that in order to tear down harmful systems, we need to be able to envision a world without them. So that's what she's trying to draw, a world with, with the that looks like, excuse me. Um, Ashley's piece will be in the game in the next patch update in July. But we have a sneak peek of what it'll look like in the game already now. So if we want to transition to that. This one is so pretty, honestly. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of my wife and I. So I'm just like tearing up a little bit. And the colors. Do you see how vibrant this is? I love these colors. Um, purple is one of my favorite colors. Um, and pink is one of my favorite colors, so it's perfect. It's perfect for the both of us, yeah. <laughs> so, what a beautiful, honestly, well done, Ashley. This is gorgeous stuff. Yes, thank you so much for sharing this with us, Ashley. Mm -hmm. You can find Ashley on Instagram under Ashluka Draws. Yeah. Now. Last but certainly not least, um, our next artist that we collaborated with was Mohamed Iman Fayez. Mm -hmm. So if we want to show the next piece of art, take a look at this one. Again with this color scheme. I love These it. colors are so beautiful, gorgeous, vibrant. Every, every, every word under the sun. Well done. Can you tell us a little bit about job. this? Yeah, of course. So the title for this one is A Recipe for Good Times. And Mohammed uh, provided us with a description. Some sweetness, some tenderness, some silliness, and some love. A recipe for good times. Uh, and I really feel that with this, don't you? I do. This is so beautiful. Everyone's just chilling. It's just good vibes. And I think that's super, super important, don't you? Yeah, it's really important. I think one of the things we talk about a lot in our community is your chosen family. And I really get this is this is like the picture of a chosen family right here. Mm -hmm. Just they're gathered around, they're kikiing, they're having a good time. And <laughs> yeah, I really love this. Yeah, seriously. Uh, you yeah. know, it, it's very important uh, found family, especially with our with our circle. Our community is finding the people that you want to spend, you know, time with to have good times, bad times, talk about, you know, issues or you, you know and, and it's super important i think this beautifully captures it it's, it's just i love it so much yeah this one will actually be available in uh game in the next patch as well in july oh, but a no. little bit further about this um uh muhammad's pronouns are are all okay um mm. you can use he she or they um and one of the things that muhammad uh told us about um that they love about pride is that so much of the culture around pride is about one month the big the bright the bold the huge celebration but muhammad's really interested in the softer moments like this so who do we lean on who's in our circle how do we care each other care about each each other in the downtime um, and this piece is an ode to the quietness and sweetness of close friendships so this we really so enjoyed this beautiful. one oh. well done Muhammad this is gorgeous and I can't wait to have this in my sims house in game I'm gonna have all of these I think don't you are, are you gonna your sims house gonna decorate it with all these yeah, I think I might create a gallery with just uh, <laughs> just gay pride art I love it yes, I love that it's <laughs> gorgeous honestly well done guys yes thank you so much and um yeah these three pieces are really uh symbolic for what the sim sims community means for inclusion um it's really a diver beautiful and diverse group filled with love for one another so uh, that's about it for this section uh so yeah nina do you yeah. want to talk about the next part yeah let's talk about the creator chat confetti uh so this month we've spotlighted some simmers in our blog who identify as lgbtq plus to celebrate pride and wherever they're from whoever they love however they identify these simmers are all making the sims very 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 proud and today we are going to be joined by three of those simmers to chat about the importance of the community in general and how they're empowering others to be their true selves and who better to join in this conversation than someone who truly lives their true self? And they are a passionate simmer, drag queen, streamer, and member of the Rainbow Arcade. And one of our faves, please welcome the wonderful Sierra Mist. Confetti. 
Hi, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for that lovely introduction. That art was absolutely incredible. Love it. Um, it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. You know, I was partially drawn towards the one of the lovely blue woman. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> and speaking of pretty, you look gorgeous today, Sierra. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's so lovely to meet you all. And for those that don't know me, my name's Sierra Mist. My pronouns are he, she, they. And I'm extremely honored to be welcomed here to kind of moderate the chat today with all the creators. It is so good to have you. How's your pride been so far? You know, it's been absolutely lovely. It's incredibly hot, and I'm wearing all of this <laughs> makeup right now. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's been a great day so far, but you know what? It's just always a good time, always great to celebrate with, you know, the Fountain family and everything mm -hmm. like that. And I'm so glad that we can have this little family here today, and absolutely. I can't wait to have our guests. Me too. I'm very excited, particularly for all of them, you know. Um, you know, with us today is Momo Misfortune, Simfan923, and A. Anton. Oh. So. Everyone say hi. Everyone. Hi. 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 Welcome. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, so before we get started, why don't we go around and just introduce everyone and make sure we all know kind of where we're coming at, you know, from our history with The Sims. Momo, why don't you start off? Um, hi, my name is Momo. Um, I'm a trans non-binary um, content creator here on Twitch. I use they, them pronouns. And I stream The Sims, and I focus my content to be LGBTQIA2 plus inclusive. And The Sims has definitely helped me um, kind of come to terms with my sexuality at quite a, quite a young age. <laughs> I, don't know, I think that's a very, uh, very common story for a lot of us. A lot of us. Yeah, I, th I think so. <laughs> um, Simfan923, would you love to introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Jordy, but also go by Simfan923. Um, I am a non binary simmer. I just came out as non binary uh, last year, actually. So it's been an incredible journey. Um, I usually I stream mostly on Twitch, but I also do YouTube as well. So, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Oh my gosh, congratulations, absolutely. And A. Anton? Uh, hello, uh, my name is A. Anton, and yeah, I have been uh, in the community for yeah a, a long time. I stream on Twitch. My pronouns is uh, he, him, and I came out as a transgender man, like, uh, what is it now? Five years ago? And my Twitch community and uh, like kind of my journey in the same thing, content creation that I've like been through whole my whole transition, you can say. So, yeah, um, that's been pretty exciting. I'm always striving to have like a amazing and wonderful safe place uh, when I play games on Twitch. Absolutely. I think that's something that we can all agree is super, super important, you know, not just, of course, at Pride Month, but, you know, as uh, some group I was saying, you know, January to December, we're here all the time. Um, so thank you all so much for joining us today. And thank you for being an active part of the Sims community. Um, I want to just like dive right in because I think we're going to have a great chat today. Um, already a couple of you have touched on this, but how has The Sims played a meaningful part in your LGBTQ plus journey? Can you share your experience? Um, Momo, do you want to go first? Yeah, so I remember, I don't even remember like why I originally got The Sims, but I started with The Sims 2. And I remember when I found out that I could make like same gender couples like <laughs> kiss and woohoo. I was like, this is interesting. <laughs> so that's like all I did when I played the game is just like make all the the Sims kiss and was like, yeah, this is there's something here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm. And Anton, you touched a little bit on that as well. Do you want to talk more about it? Uh, yeah, sure. Like I have been uh, been I don't know got the game when I was like six years old when it's like back in two thousand and yeah. But it's definitely been, like, I think I tried to, like, get Mortimer or some and someone else, like, be in, like, and the neighbor's husband to be engaged or something, <laughs> like, back in The Sims 1. I mean, it was just, and in The Sims 2, that just uh, blew off, uh, like, as well. Like, I love to just create different stories with different Sims, like, from, like, uh, gay by everything um, and in the sims like 4 um, that really helped me with my gender dysphoria sometimes actually because uh, there in that game I could create myself and I could like for example like make like make myself pregnant although like um, I was masculine and be like 
Ooh, this is kind of fun because that scares the hell out of me in real life. I have no idea like for stuff like that. Um, but in the like in the game, it's just so natural and so amazing that you can just like dive into your own little world and be like, yeah, this is my family now. Like you know, you can kind of um, that's like a couple of it. Absolutely, and Jordy, how about you? <laughs> um, so we actually didn't really, we didn't really talk about LGBT in my house growing up. So for me, being able to live that part of my life um, in game was like such a huge thing because I couldn't really be myself outside of the game until I got much older, obviously. But it's honestly, it's helped me so much and it actually pushed me to come out um, when I was a teenager. So I think, and I want to say Sims 2 was probably the one time that I actually noticed. I was like, oh, wow, okay. I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> um, I think it was, I want to say it was Brandy and, um, oh gosh, I can't remember. I know it was Brandy and probably Mary Sue ended up getting together they got married so i was just so happy for them beautiful wedding too actually no, I think about it. so yeah of course beautiful gowns beautiful gowns yeah, and you know it. you know there's been such a such a history you know with the sims in terms of how many games and how many you know expansion packs and dlcs and all this kind of thing but what keeps you coming back to this series you know why are you all still simmers today <laughs> mm. jump in <laughs> i mean i would say that i um uh, I always come back to The Sims because it's a really, like, a creative outlet for me. Like, you can create... Like, I can see, I don't know, a house on my way to, like, I don't know, work or something and be like, I need to take a photo of that for later. Um, because something about that just, like, sparked something that I need to build in The Sims. Like, when I came home, come home. Like, kind of like that. And same with, like, stories. You hear something, like, I don't know, like... You can just create so, so much, and it's really a creative outlet for me, I would say. So. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's definitely a creative outlet for me. I just, I've always been, like, really attached to, um, you know, like, like dress up, like, doll games online where you can just, like, make characters. So The Sims is, like, the perfect way to do that. You could just create, like, so many different, like, Sims and characters and, like, just make them live out these perfect lives that maybe, you know, you can't live out in uh, in real life. So it's just... It's my comfort game. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree. It's definitely something, like they said, is very comforting. It's a very creative game. Um, I've been playing it since like 2002. So I grew up with The Sims. It's just like, it's kind of like my go-to game, you know, like if I'm stressed out, if I need to like plan something or if I just want to, you know, just dress up my Sims just for a chill afternoon. Yes, this is definitely, this, The Sims is definitely that kind of game for me, so. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. And I'm already starting to figure out, you know, who's a gameplay player, who's a builder, that sort of thing. You know, we always got to keep track of those <laughs> kinds of things. Um, and, you know, the Sims community is such a huge part, I think, of this of this series. Um, how what do you love about this community and how are they really like inspiring you as, you know, especially as content creators in this space? Um, honestly, I think. I didn't actually know that there was a community for The Sims until like The Sims 2, Sims 3. So it's knowing that so many people know about this game and it's such a big community that, you know, there's so many different people, so many passionate players and it's so diverse now. Um, honestly, I just loved everything about it. So yeah, that's just my story on it though. Yeah, I didn't know that there was really such a big community and like, especially for The Sims 4 until maybe like, three years ago and I found all these Sims YouTubers and stuff and I'm like there's a big thing here and then so when I started streaming about like a year ago I've just like met so many amazing people who are so supportive of like who I am as a person which I was you know being a trans non-binary person I was very afraid that you know nobody was going to accept me but it was the opposite so there's just so many supportive people in this community and I just I just love being here yay yeah, definitely the same. Like, um, yeah, um, I would say that, uh, yeah, the community really um, is always supporting of you. Like, I never knew either that there was a community for The Sims until like four years ago or something when I started watching it on YouTube and then came into Twitch. And I was like, hey, I'm going to do this myself. This is fun. And I have met some of my best friends online because of The Sims and because of the community, because you always find each other somehow, somewhere, and you, yeah. I have some of my best friends, like, that supports me in my journey, um, and 
uh, supports everyone in the LGBTQ uh, I community like it's it's just amazing how everyone is so supporting and stuff it's awesome <laughs> That's incredible. I used to play The Sims Online, Bring It Back. Um, and that was, you know, an, an incredible experience getting to, you know, interact with people in a live way within The Sims world. It was just so much fun to find that community there. Um, what makes you proud to be part of The Sims community yourself? Is there anything that you want to let the community know that they've done for you? Or, you know, what makes you happy to be part of it? everything <laughs> yeah it's like, right, it's yeah, like, well, am i supposed to pick just like one thing i mean just all the friends right. that i've made like the community that i've like cultivated it's just like i wouldn't change it for the world it's just been such an amazing experience it's so precious yeah i agree <laughs> the sense community is i like that it's so ever like is growing every time so it's like with every generation we're getting you know there's more there's more diversity mm -hmm. um i love that i've met so many amazing people through this community um and i love that you guys let me be myself because i couldn't i didn't feel like i could be that anywhere else so i do appreciate and so many people have shared so many of their amazing stories and their creativity like there are some really talented people here like oh my gosh so i do yeah i just there's there's, there's nothing you can just pinpoint with this community there's so many amazing things about them nice i just have to agree it's uh it's just yeah it's an amazing community i love that i think you know that's all you have to say really you know it's all yeah. encompassing it tells you everything you need to know um was there ever a time kind of that The Sims, you know, empowered you to do something that you wouldn't have done if you didn't play the game? We've talked a little bit of how it's helped in our self-discovery journeys, but is there anything else that it's really kind of pushed you to do? Streaming. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So I, um, like, one of the big reasons why I started streaming was because, you know, I love The Sims, and I didn't really see any other non-binary creators. Um, I mean, now, obviously, I know so many like other non-binary simmers and I wouldn't have found them without streaming. And so, like, I mean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's totally for yeah. me to like streaming. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be starting streaming, making videos or anything else without like The Sims at all. Yeah, in, um, in real life, I'm very, I'm usually very shy, so when I started playing Sims and then I started doing like YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that, I really kind of found a voice that I didn't think I had mm -hmm. until I started. And like I said, I've met so many people and it's just, everyone's just been great so far. So I just love everything about it. So yeah, that's me. Yeah. And I think, you know, it sounds like that goes back to the community being so fantastic. You know, you feel encouraged to participate and to continue in these spaces, right? Which is, I think, is very rare for a lot of kind of, you know, gaming communities and that sort of thing. I think there's something very special here that I think we all recognize for sure. Um, what's the, the Sims-related achievement that you're, you're most proud of? You know, big or small? Is there a build you're really proud of? Did you finish the 100 Baby Challenge? You know, what's, what's really kind of... No! Ooh, mm, ooh. <laughs> uh, I couldn't do it. I've tried, I've tried on several occasions to do I don't know how people do it. Like, good for you if you were able to do it. I couldn't, I couldn't get past, like, baby number five. But um, I think last year I made a sim for Black History Month. And it was a doctor who was, you know, he was, um, he opened like the first clinic um, for a black, uh, for African Americans. So I created the sim and I just got flooded with all these comments and like all this love and support. And people were telling me their stories about the sim that I made. So hearing that, it really just filled my heart knowing that what I made inspired so many people and brought so much love and encouragement. So that was just for me though. I love that. Um, so, I think my biggest achievement would be that I um, started campaigning to add pronouns into The Sims. And um, I started it, I was like, you know what, you know, there's been so many people that have talked about it for years, but nobody was really doing anything. And so I was like, you know, I have this, at the time, smaller platform. And so I'm like, I'm just going to start tweeting every single day and see what happens. And then the tweets started getting a lot of attention. I was like oh, I didn't expect this to happen. And then somebody was like, you should make a petition. So I made a petition that almost gained 20,000 signatures and 84 days into tweeting um, on the Inside Maxis stream that took place on day 84, the Sims team announced that, you know, they were 
looking into it and seeing like trying to figure out a way that it could work for all languages that the sims is translated into and i just it was a very emotional day for me <laughs> it was very emotional and i'm just so i feel so thankful to be a part of this community and to like have an amazing like sims team where everybody list like listens to what you know the community members want and like pays attention and interacts with us and i just couldn't be more thankful to be you know where i'm at today and i can't wait to see um how pronouns or you know gender neutral language is potentially incorporated into the game in, in the future i know it's going to take some time so like it's <laughs> it's totally fine <laughs> It's not just, it's not as easy as just control F. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to all the singers that are programmers in the chat. I apologize. <laughs> Anton, what about you? Um, I don't know if I can pinpoint like one uh, specific uh, thing. Um, I would just like say that it's, it's the community in general just like the the amount just what we've talked about here it's just the amount of support and amazing freaking people that i have found through the sims um without them i don't know where the heck i would be today uh so and just like keep finding new people all the time and it's amazing just um yeah i i, I can't really pinpoint um like one build or one thing um it's it's just a community in general that i found it it's just saved saved a lot in my life yeah i think personally you know the biggest achievement for me is i did a collaboration with you know 15 other lgbtq plus creators and we created willow creek all as like a queer version yeah. uh, momo actually participated yeah. and uh <laughs> you know it that really took off and it was so nice to see people who you know saw characters that represented themselves and we really put a lot of effort to make sure that it it covered the whole you know the whole spectrum of our community because our community is quite big a lot of people forget that sometimes um <laughs> and i also think you know just you know let's like pat ourselves on the back a little bit but this is an achievement right here all of us being able to sit here and kind of you know have this conversation and you know share these experiences with one another and with the larger sims community you know don't forget that don't forget <laughs> Um, what has been your favorite creation? Is there a particular, you know, sim or family that you've been really proud of? Um, you know, a particular build that you just always end up going back to? Well, um, the, uh, so the, for the Fresh New World campaign, which me and Sierra were, um, a part of, I built this, and I'm not a builder. I say that a lot. I'm not a builder, but I built a family house for a family that I called the um, Toronto family, who was a very, you know, very queer family. And the house that I built for this family is probably the best thing I've ever built. It's just, I'm so proud of that build. It is up on the gallery. <laughs> I also really liked your rundown home that had the dinosaur. I have my... That one was very yeah, good. there was like a bunch of it was a starter home that I made and there's a bunch of garbage in the backyard and it was haunted like it was a great house. <laughs> Don't forget about the garbage houses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jordy and Anton, what about you? Um Light Momo, not a builder. I can probably build you like a cardboard box. That's about it. <laughs> um but I think I did recently build a single dad house and the father he is actually pansexual, so um to me, there's like such a huge attachment to them, and I love their story. Um, and I play, I try not to play with them because it's, you know, a whole let's play, but I was, oh my gosh, like it's so hard not to play with them. Like they're so amazing, but the house is so cozy, and I just want to sip like coffee or tea. If you're a tea drinker, you know, you can come as well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just, it's just so cozy. I just love everything about it though. So that's me. That's awesome. I mean, I have. I did a build recently because I thought like, hey, it's Pride Month, I should do something Pride related, and uh, so I built kind of a secret kind of party hangout spot. I kind of felt like I would want to put it on a place where they have these get together, like, 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 what, what is it like? Uh, Three AM parties, being like, hey, you want to come to this crazy party? It's like, yes, that's that spot, and it's like. I I think it's called like the Pride Rave Secret Hider or something, and I just felt that it turned out so good with all the, I have. I think I had all the flags and and things, and yeah, just building 
I do a lot of house houses and stuff, but sometimes just building like a rundown. I think it's like a rundown barn kind of thing, and a lot of debug objects. Uh, debug is so good sometimes. So. Debug scares so. me. I get lost. I get lost. <laughs> <in it. laughs> yeah, no. I'm, I'm the person going to the gallery and being like garden debug and finding someone who found all the items for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, it can be a hassle sometimes. That, that, it's, it's can be a hassle sometimes, but uh, yeah. When you find the goodies, it's like, oh, I have grabbed that, and then just that uh, before I even start building something, I have like something uh, like fifty objects randomly put on the lot, <laughs> just like over, like pushed into the corner to be used later. Exactly. Absolutely. So speaking of that, what's what are, what's everyone's gallery ID? Because you've talked talked about all these amazing builds. Where can we go find all your builds and beautiful Sims? My gallery ID is Momo Misfortune. Just like on all social media, I'm very easy to find. <laughs> yeah, same here. Simfan923 everywhere. I know I'm very creative with my username. So yeah, you can follow me everywhere <laughs> on that username. Exactly. It's the uh, same here. Um, yep. Uh, it's Aunt on pretty much everywhere. Um, so. so easy with content creators. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> just like. <laughs> We're on, we stay um, on brand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> brand. <laughs> um, well, thank you all so much for being here. Um, you know, I already asked where the community can find you, but is there maybe anything else that you wanted to talk about? An upcoming event, an upcoming stream, something special you really would like to talk about? Mm. I sure do stream. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, stream, you know, stream, YouTube videos, definitely check that out. Uh, Single Dad Life Let's Play on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. We get really, really interesting on there. I'm just going to point that out. So. Yep, yep. I stream on Twitch. Just basically, um, come check me out when I'm live and just hang out. We're, we're a fun bunch. I should be more specific. I do stream a uh, non-binary 100 baby challenge. Speaking of the 100 baby challenge, um, every Wednesday I stream that. Um, I think we're on like 30 something babies. It is uh, just a PSA. Don't ever do the 100 baby challenge. <laughs> I do not like it, but I'm still doing it. Just don't do it. Save yourself the trouble. Just don't do the 100 baby challenge. But I'm doing that and I'm also doing a vampire legacy challenge. And I'm currently on uh, generation nine and I love my current family so, so, so much. So it might be cottage core lesbians. So you should come check that out. <laughs> That's going to fit real well in a certain upcoming, you know, pack. Ooh. Sure will. Sure will. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, you know, and I also wanted to just give a little wink, you know, for those of the fans of the Fresh New World, maybe there's a Fresh New World 2.0 on the way. Who's to say? Who's to say? <laughs> um, well, you know, thank you all so much for joining us. You know, I would, you know, love to let's all have a, a big a round of applause. Can I get confetti? Am I allowed to do that? Confetti? Yeah, but you're allowed to do confetti. Confetti! confetti. 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 <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much for joining us. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you all had an amazing time. Everyone, go follow these creators. Hello. Yeah, seriously. It's that easy. <laughs> Um, and thank you so much for The Sims for having me. It was a pleasure to be able to moderate this chat and get a chance to kind of, you know, get to know everyone. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much for being here, yeah. everyone. Just, just to give you a second to shine too, Sierra, where can we find you? Um, you know, uh, oh. anything you want to promote real quick? Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, you can find me on all the socials, the Insta, the Twitch, the Twitter at Sierra X Mist, um, spelled like it is in the, 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 there, except for the next in the middle. Um, and uh, I, 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 have, I have nothing to promote. Just the fresh new world. Watch for that if you want to keep making your Sims world super queer. Yeah. Yes, we love <laughs> queer world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Thank you, I everyone. I had so good of a time to listen to everyone's stories. I'm just like... Oh, well, again, <laughs> thank you for having us. Thank, thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, that was such a great chat, and uh, we had a good time hearing from all, all the creators, but now we've got our special section. It is time for surprise and delights. Confetti. 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 <laughs> Rain on us. Confetti. Please. Confetti. Anywhere. Please. We're waiting. We're waiting. Please. There what's we go. <laughs> what surprise 
And what's the light? <laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> yeah. Well, we love getting to connect with all of you and seeing you join our Inside Maxis live streams. And since we're in a celebration mood today, we'd like to surprise and delight some of you that we've noticed in the chat um, from the beginning and have been spreading super positive vibes across the community. So the following wonderful people, please check your Twitch DMs later today for a get together game code. <laughs> All right, we're gonna read them off real quick. I'll take a, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go one by one, I'll start. So, uh, Jewel Molly. Uh, do you wanna take next one? Oh, uh, Molly. Shayla Browner. CZs. Cryptic Omega GG. Siku. Jake David BTG. Vapor Fairy. Uh, it's Meta Fni. <laughs> Dirty Luna 17. Hey underscore Artie. Nico Rabbit. Haley underscore Button. I love this, this name. Weird Book Lover. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, Nicole Brook. Joanna Loves You. Aww. <laughs> Uh, Sarusness. <laughs> Lucy Green YT. Uh, sorry, lost my place. Leo Sign 1. Silver Dragon 19. And totally Kate. <laughs> Congratulations to all of y'all, and please remember to check your Twitch DMs later today for that that code. And um, while you're in there, you know, get together, or get together in your game, and create some inclusive groups that can represent your uh, chosen family in the game. There. Yes, <sighs> I, I. That was so fun. I love surprising, and delighting, and congrats to everyone whose name we read off. I hope you have. <laughs> Yeah, fun congrats. Time. Now, we've done all the fun stuff. Now, let's get down to business. Let's get down to the serious talk. How about some Sims 411? Do you want to take it away? I, I will take it away. Uh, so, this is Sims 411, where we talk hot topics, and it is very, very hot out. Uh, topics you have in mind, and we still got plenty from our feedback day on the forums. That happened uh, last month, I think. And we're going to also have a sneak peek for what's coming uh, to base game next patch. Uh, Sims 411 by the way, can be read in the recap on Friday on our blog in the forums. Um, but let's start with the hot topics, shall we? Um, I'm going to take the first question. Uh, first question, will there be more relationship options in Create a Sim? Uh, currently, we do not have any plans around expanding family and households. Our focus right now is to e expanding gameplay possibilities like family cooking and gardening, as well as more exciting ways for players to represent themselves. Uh, rest assured, we hear the want for more relationship options in the game, and we will keep it on our list of improvements in the future. All right, thanks for that. Next up, will the likes and dislikes system be expanded in the future? Well, we saw a very positive reaction from the community when we added the new likes and dislikes to the base game last month. So we definitely don't want to stop there. Uh, we are planning on adding new music preferences and activities as time allows. Awesome. Uh, the next one is, can you give hints to uh, Easter eggs and hidden worlds? Uh, this is actually a really cool idea. We've always wondered if exposing the secrets of the game take away from your own exploration. Um, as we love seeing you all share what you've recently discovered in the game, like swimming in Breachester or the hidden worlds in the three neighborhoods. Uh, still, we think that your request shows that there's an opportunity to balance both. So stay tuned by following us at The Sims. Uh, we can't say yet, but uh, we can tell you our social media team is super excited about this idea. Exactly. And then next up, this is a bit of a bigger one, but will you fix the bug black hair colors? Um, yes, we have a, we have finished our initial audit of black hair colors and we'll update you soon on when we'll be able to release the adjusted hairs. Um, please do bear with us though. It's gonna take some time um, and we'll give you a little bit of a background on why. So uh, once the colors for the hairstyles are chosen, uh, we use a gradient swatch. So it's, um, you know, the color transitioning from one to another to make sure the color is consistent across all hair colors. This gradient 
gradient swatch is then manually added to um, each hair and it recolor we recolor the grayscale texture. Since each hair has a different check texture, excuse me, and geometric shape, it can cause the colors to appear differently on the individual hair textures. Um, that can also you know, take into account the geometry of the actual hair model and the lighting in the game. Um, we unfortunately can't prove the correctness of the color until it actually appears in the game. So when we do need to correct, we must do so as seen one by one by every single hair. Um, and because each hair is different, it may need a different solution. So we're currently working on going through the hairs again to make adjustments. And we'd love to hear feedback from all of you if there are particular hairs where the hair color looks like it may need an adjustment. So with the multitude of hairs that are in the game, it will take quite a bit of time to get through them, but we'll continue to work on improving the experience. So here's some fun facts just to let you know what we're up against. Um, the current number of hairs in the game across everything is about 740, and that includes beards. That's a lot, <laughs> a lot and of hairs. i know right and guess how many eyebrows we have uh bat uh a lot <laughs> 89 we've currently got 89 and that does expand you know when there's updates to the game so it's going to take us some time but um you know we are we are uh, in the know about it and we're trying to make that better so stay tuned yes yeah, stay tuned and we yeah. know that there's going to be a lot uh, more questions and we'll continue to do our best to listen and give you as many insights as possible uh, speaking of insights simguru duck can 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 we talk about that sneak peek? What what's uh yeah. what's happening? <laughs> Let's take a look. So we want to show you in this section a sneak peek of things that are coming to the base game in the next patch. So without further ado, let's take a look. Take a look. I can't wait. This is the brand new hair we made for the next patch update. Brand new. <gasps> like this is actually oh, brand new specifically wow. for the base game. This is so exciting. Um, it's a modernized version of the large Afro hairstyle that we updated previously. Uh, what do you think, Bat? This is absolutely gorgeous. They did an amazing job. I, I saw this as it was progressing too. And just to repeat, this is uh, not a update of a uh, hairstyle. This is completely new. Um, and I think it turned out gorgeous. It's like a modern take on a very large afro. What do you think about it? Subaru it's beautiful. I, I love the style and I love the fact that we're creating um, more mm. more uh, representation in the base game. Mm. Um, that's one of the things that I really love about what I do on The Sims is getting able to, you know, being able to help Same. work on get these in the game and make it more inclusive place. So um, Same. I, I can see yeah. so many beautiful Sims being created with this hair. It, it's it's really gorgeous and I can't wait to see more like this. Yeah, it's great. So do you have anything else to talk about that's coming out? A few things. Uh, let's talk about uh, family time. And family time is quality time. Mm, or is it? Uh, <laughs> anyways, in the next game update, The Sims will be able to do more things with their family, uh, such as cooking together. Uh, ooh, let's talk about this. Group cooking allows you to select up to five sims to come together and cook a meal. It allows you to gain relationships while also preparing better quality meals and more servings. Uh, in addition to any sim that's on a player's lot, children can also be chosen to cook with an adult. They will gain mental skill as a part of doing this. Sims that cook together can gain can get a new sentiment. And I think that's so cool. You know, a part of a big Italian family here, cooking is definitely a family thing. And, uh, you know, there may be bickering and fighting and, and throwing <laughs> stuff at each other, but definitely it is it is a thing where everyone comes together and makes the best. Uh, Are you possible. saying there were food fights in the Sim Guru about household growing up? Uh, yeah, maybe I had instigated a few of them, but it's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good food fight. <laughs> Me too. Uh, let's talk also about kids gardening. Uh, children will be able to water, weed, plant, and harvest crops. Uh, they cannot use the vertical garden from Eco Lifestyle, though. Water is available to all children, but uh, weed, plant, and harvest are unlocked by mental skill thresholds. Uh, children and toddlers will also be able to talk to plants just as a su cute social interaction, which I think is absolutely adorable because I talk to my plants. And <laughs> toddlers babble or talk depending on communication skill. Children will have a few random renames of talk like ask how the sun tastes. Zimguru Duck, how does the sun taste? <laughs> 
I think it just, it tastes like citrus. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, I, that's kind of a cheap answer, Ooh. but yeah, citrus. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know how the sun tastes. I think it would burn me alive, unfortunately. Oh, so. yeah, you're a yeah. vampire. That's you right. Know, I forgot about that. I'm bad. sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, teens, young adults, and elder sims with enough gardening skill can also teach about plants to child sims. A social that provides the child with mental skills. Uh, and all sims who can plant seeds, teen, young adults, and elders, with enough mental skill will also have a new option on gardening uh, containers, uh, you know, pots, planters, patches, etc., to plant uh, the seeds in their inventory. So I think uh, that's really cool. And with a certain upcoming pack, I think this is going to be very useful. But this is a base game update, uh, but it can be useful in other stuff. Oh, at cottage living, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting to see the opportunities there. It's almost here. <laughs> it's almost here. And then, what else are we talking about today? Yeah. Well, last but certainly not least, um, last month we shared our Summer of Sims poster. Some of you may remember it. Yeah, there it is. So right. for anyone who, <laughs> yeah, I know. For anyone who wondered what this uh, Sims event of the summer is, where we asked you to rock out, it's actually happening today. Okay. Uh, yes, it starts today. Oh so gosh. we've updated the poster here. Take a look. Ooh. So, so what's gonna happen? So uh, we want to give our players a fresh and new experience in our first ever in-game music event. Since 2004, The Sims has been bringing new music and Simlish uh, to the game and making a place, uh, making The Sims a place for music discovery in real life as well. So today uh, we've got BB Rexa, Glass Animals, and Joy Olotikin, and they'll be kicking off a limited time intimate in-game music festival. So from today until July 7th, your Sim will be able to experience music. They're going to get a unique Simlish concert experience, shopping, they'll be able to buy artist themed the merchandise or they can they can run their own craft sales table uh, they'll be able to visit festival inspired lounges in those lounges you can camp out sleep nap make friends use the restroom grab a snack or even woohoo <laughs> 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 what what is a lounge without all, without a place to do all of those things? <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's going to be food trucks in the game. I love me a good food truck. That's actually mm. one of the things I miss about working in an office is when you know they you can go out to a food truck and mm -hmm. eat. But you'll be able to experience that in the festival in The Sims. Um, fashionistas out there, this is good for you. You'll be able to change your outfit at the festival by putting on fits inspired by the performers, so you can uh, show off your nicest threads there. New threads. Um, very yeah, cool, you, very cool. We, we might we might be able to show uh, show everybody what what our, our planned outfits are in a little bit, right? Beth? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> so take a look at that in a second. Um, but last but certainly not least, um, party and perform after the stay after the the event is finished in the game, you'll be able to go on stage and keep the party going with continued music, lights, and dancing all night long. So that was a lot, and some of you may be wondering how to uh, experience this in the game. Do you explain? So, yeah. Um, so first off, you want to start a new game or an existing game and then wait till Sunday. At 10.30 a.m., your Sims will get a notification and a ticket in their inventory. And then from 12 to 12.30, uh, your Sims will get a phone call inviting them to the session and the tickets go to Sims sessions venue interaction will be available. If you don't want to wait for the phone call or ticket interaction, though, you can just travel to Magnolia Blossom Park in Willow Creek and there will be a music icon that shows the session's location and time. And just a quick note for anyone who is brand new to The Sims who may have discovered this because of this event, um, this is not a multiplayer thing. It, it is a single player experience, but you'll be able to um, bring your group of Sims friends with you here in the game and experience it with them. So you can also share your experience online on Twitter too. That that would be yes. cool. See pictures. Yeah, um, we'd love to see your outfits. <laughs> yeah, John, are you are you ready for the festival yet? Yeah, I'm ready for the festival, but I don't know if the community is ready for this jelly. I don't know if they're they're ready for what know. we're about to show them. Finger, <laughs> Duck, and I really customized our outfits. Outfits. I think we look, I think I look, you know, my sim self looks pretty good. I may be a vampire, but I, that doesn't mean we can't wear color. I think. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. Ooh, look at the, the full, the full uh, <laughs> head to toe there. 
<laughs> and uh, ooh, yeah. Spooky. Check. <laughs> here's here's mine. <laughs> And like I said, I, I uh, you know I'm uh, I, I haven't really ventured out too much into makeup out in the real world, but I, I did put a little bit of eye makeup on here. Um, I think you look really fabulous. I think Thank you, you so amazing. much. <laughs> look, we can totally go together as long as you don't mind like an occasional you know bite on the neck or some plasma missing. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Well, I have been thinking about becoming a vampire lately. I know that that you know immortality Ooh. and the youthful complexion <laughs> is really appealing to me. We'll go through some paperwork first, though. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. I probably have to sign a uh, uh, some kind of legal know. document. Yeah. yeah, a few legal documents. But uh, we'd love to see your outfits, and uh, please make sure to share them with us on Twitter at hashtag Sim Sessions, and join the party, people, at Magnolia Blossom Park. Yeah. So um, yeah. <laughs> Was that's that it? pretty that much it crazy. everyone thank you so much um just a real quick note um yeah keep a lookout for me out there too i'm a new sims guru so um mm -hmm. be on the lookout for me out there and i'd love love the chance to talk with all of y'all soon so mm -hmm. sim guru duck <laughs> and thank you so much, Simguru Bat, for being so welcoming and, and not so making fun of me on my first time here. Ah, oh, you're it. fine. You're 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 a pro now. And look, <laughs> we're we're ducks and bats, and those go together. They could both fly. You know, I <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get along just famously. <laughs> yeah, it's, I love it. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Um, thank you for Yay. joining us today. And Yay. yeah, until confetti. next time. One last confetti. confetti. Confetti, confetti. Please. Happy We're Pride, great. everyone! It's been <laughs> such a lovely show, and I had so much fun with the creators <laughs> on, and I can't wait to hear from the community today. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. Thank you, everyone. With love, Happy Pride from Simbrupa. Happy Pride! Yay! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> <laughs>